Hi, this is Leland Snyder for Frack Times. I kid you not, you're going to see the reporters all over Dr. Shaw like starving rats over a soft piece of cheese. They really, they've had no information for an entire year. And if you doubt me, watch the testimony of the assembly members questioning Dr. Shaw. They have no idea what's going on either. So after the reporter questioning was cut short, the only person to engage Dr. Shaw in conversation was Pramila Malik who was, in retrospect, trying to say that her children and family are being impacted by the development of a compressor station near her. And you could see that in, if you look up on YouTube, Minisync Compressor Station. The video is poor, but the audio is very good. And you'll see how he reacts as she attempts to engage him in conversation. I couldn't believe how fast they were moving down the hallway. It was it looked like a walk, but I had to practically run to keep up. I don't know how Pramila kept up with him. So enjoy the video, and as always in closing, what counts is what's your opinion. <laughs> When I say a little bit of space, I don't mean as much space. Dr. Shah, I had a very, I've sat through this whole thing for three, over three hours. It seems that more than a few legislators have thought that you were being less than forthright in terms of openness and transparent, and they really wanted to have more answers than you were willing to give at this point, especially with fracking and, and other uh, parts of your agency as well. Did you come away with thinking that as well, or, I mean, did you Senator get that? Hannon just thanked me for a very good session, well, they, so to the extent been that I've been here for three years, I'm hoping that we continue to meet the needs of New Yorkers and the legislatures who represent them in every aspect. No, but do you feel that you're not as transparent as you could be, even on your website and other pieces of information? There's less... Less is more? Is that what your theory is? Or? On the contrary, we won national awards for transparency. Our healthdata.ny.gov website won the national award uh, from the, uh, the feds. And to the extent that the governor has made very clear through Executive Order 95 and other systems that we want to be as transparent as possible to engage the public in ways they've never before, we're doing our best. Dr. Shah, what kind of evidence do you have that you're doing a health study? We just haven't seen anything. Uh, Is there always, that you could show us? Uh, I've always talked about it as a health review. A health study is something that you start from scratch where you're actually enrolling patients and following them over time. I understand. I was, that was the wrong term. Could you show us what you're reviewing? The stuff that I'm reviewing is open and available to everyone. You saw the 130 studies that one of the legislatures uh, uh, gave us uh, today. It's all publicly available research, available on the internet. So you've looked at 130 studies? No, we've looked at many more. Okay. What, did you, what have you most recently looked at? I'd say last week. What was the most recent one? I've looked at stuff that came out in the LA Times, the primary studies uh, that came out of Colorado looking at human health. I've looked at uh, the study from the University of Mississippi group. There's, there's, uh, uh, just about we're throwing as wide a net as possible. Does this mean everyone wants to enter the toxicology of uh, proprietary chemicals? We're looking at the health studies, the human health studies. So I'm not looking at rat studies. I'm not looking at other studies. I'm looking at actual human health studies related to high volume hydrofracking. But and proprietary chemicals aren't open to the public. Uh, Commissioner, what, what? Can you what kind of assurances can you give the public? I mean, given that you're not you're not willing to get into a lot of specifics about the review, you're not a lot, you're not willing to to show us any of your work at this point. How can the how can the public be be confident in your in your process if if, if that's not happening? At this point? So with most studies, the study is done in a certain way, and afterwards there's a peer review process where folks can look at the study, see if they can replicate the results, see if they can use their own assumptions and come to the same finding. To the extent that this review, after the fact, will be subject to such a process by the public uh, and by scientists, uh, it's incumbent on me to make sure that every step of the way we're doing the best science possible, we're transparent internally about how we can get to certain assumptions, and all uh, findings at the end, all suggestions and recommendations at the end, 
anyone should, if they follow the science trail, reach that same conclusion. But, but as you said, that peer, revi pre pre uh, I'm sorry, peer review process is generally for studies. You just said study there. You just said that this isn't a study. This is a review. Uh, what's, I mean, can you, how can you account for the, the difference there? So a, a study and a review is different. A study, I'll, I'll explain, is something where you enroll patients and over time you follow them and you, you come to a result. A review is a review of existing studies that are out there. A review doesn't start by enrolling patients. It looks at other science that's already been done. There are also peer review of reviews. Just like other types of research, there is peer review involved. Will, well, you, will you put out a list of people you met with and studies you've looked at? It's evolving. At the end of the day, I'm sure at the end, you will be able to reproduce all of it. Can you talk about some of the political pressure you face from the governor? Is he weighing in on this? Has he said anything to you recently about what he'd like you to find in your review, or has he made any suggestions for studies that you might want to look at? Nope. He's, uh, let me uh, let science lead the way. He is not in, in any form uh, impacted. And when I said I needed more time, he's like, okay, you can, you can have more time. All right, one more, guys. Can you understand the frustration? Obviously, people want an answer to this. They have for years. Can you understand the frustration from lawmakers and people like the fact that there is still no decision? My goal is to protect the health of New Yorkers. I'm not going to let anything come in the way of that. And to the extent that that is my job, I've been hired by the governor for that one goal alone, I'm not going to rush to any decisions that might jeopardize that. So do you think by maybe delaying the study, you're protecting the health of New Yorkers because there isn't any fracking? I don't see myself as delaying the study. I see myself as conducting the study, the, the review, mm -hmm. in real time. Thanks, guys. All right, thank thanks, guys. Thanks, gang. Thank, thank you. you. Gotta go.
fancy that we yeah. have these on file already. Yeah, that, you know, so funny enough, the only people who probably back she thinks we're going to have most of the file. I think so. Yeah. I'm fairly certain that yeah. we've addressed everything. Yep. And I know that uh, I've been looking 